When you see a storm drain in the street, you may not make the connection between them and fish. Every city, every city all over the world has storm drains of some shape or size. They all go to their local streams. It's just the way that we used to do things. The Stream of Dreams program is setting out to teach kids the connection between drains and healthy streams. Uh, we learned that we need to keep the water clean so that all the fish don't die. Children, of course, first have heard all about their watershed and how to protect rivers and streams, how to stop, help their parents, teach their parents about how to uh, stop putting nasty things down drains, maybe change the kind of uh, products that they're using, stop washing their cars in the street. And then the kids come in here and they paint a dream fish. And uh, they get to paint whatever they like on their fish. The painted fish represent hope for our local waters, and each student comes up with their own design. I made it with an eye, a Canada flag, and a rainbow. I painted it orange, and I painted about 11 black dots on it, and then I painted the yin yang symbol on its head. When you learn about something, when you discover that, oh, okay, all drains lead to fish habitat, then you take what you understand and you create a work of art. That is the, that is the gift of art. Art is, is, it becomes internalized. So it comes inside, you, you internalize it, and then, especially for kids, I mean, they're, they're all so willing to do this, to create something really beautiful from what they've learned. Yes, it does make a difference. Yes, it, it's symbolic for them. And that symbolism comes to life once the fish are mounted as one piece of art on the school's fence. That art will start discussions with kids and parents on ways to keep streams healthy. You should not pollute the ocean because then there will be no fish and people could starve. I believe that they want to protect it. They just need to have the tools to know how. And of course it's, it's communicating with their parents on how to do that. And it's, it's a shift in what we use, the products that we use. It's as simple as that. That's what helps salmon. I'm going to be happy because I hope it'll be on that fence for a long time. In Port Alberni for Shaw TV, I'm Darren Evans.